If I'm lost along the way If I wander off onto a different tray Will you forgive me if I fail when I'm lost and derailed? If I cry when I'm blue? If I cry alone when I am with you? Will you forgive me if I do, if I cry when I'm blue? I cannot handle people being mad at me, yelling at me or being disappointed in me. My throat gets blocked immediately when this happens and all I can do is cry. Even when I feel that the accusations might not be right and I'd love to defend myself, I have a really hard time doing so. I also avoid confronting people when they hurt my feelings. I'm too afraid of their reaction as they might get mad at me which I feel I cannot handle. I'm afraid it would be my fault that the relationship just got worse because of my complaint. At least that's how I think. I just absolutely cannot stand conflict and try to avoid it wherever I can. I feel very, very lucky to have a few people in my life where I really feel that I can completely be myself and even express myself when I feel angry or hurt. I think those two emotions are the hardest ones for me to deal with. What do you know? I've been sensitive all my life, but I feel like my sensitivity increased when I became a mother. I used to be able to watch all kinds of movies before, even though a lot of them would make me cry, I felt like I could still handle them. However, now that I also have the role of a mother, I guess my perspective changed and I get horrified more easily than before. So I avoid films that will trigger my anxiety and fears. I also stopped watching the news for years now. I feel bad about this sometimes. It is not that I do not care, the opposite is true. It is just that I cannot handle all the suffering, the violence and the pain of the world. I have a very visual brain and images can really haunt me for days and make me sad or anxious. Even when listening to news on the radio, my brain will construct the images belonging to those horrible accidents mentioned, and those images then sometimes pop up on random occasions, usually when I have a moment of rest or just lay down in bed. Moments that should be relaxing and peaceful then suddenly get flooded with all the pain from other people and I hurt with them. And now 
the hardest of all things with being a highly sensitive parent. The thing that sometimes makes me wish that I would not be an HSP is the noise and the bounciness of my own children. This is a really hard one to share because I really wish it wouldn't be this way. See, I do not enjoy being in a space with very bright lights, but what I enjoy even less is being in a space that is noisy. (laughs) Noise makes me go mad really quick and I can't hear my own thoughts, which makes everything so much harder and I just want to run away into a quiet, safe cocoon of some kind. I feel guilty every time when my kids are at home and they are having fun, playing loudly, running around. They shout at each other all the time. (laughs) They bounce, they jump, they stomp. I'm so lucky that I have my own little room within the house where I can push the pause button just for a moment and take a deep, deep breath so I can return to them with a smile. They are small, it's temporary. I love them so, so much and I know we can get through this. Although these are all not easy things to deal with as a highly sensitive person, I would not change it for the world. Being highly sensitive comes with its challenges, so do a lot of character traits, but wow, it also comes with so many beautiful, even kind of magical qualities that I would not want to miss. Let's talk about these soon in another video. Take care my friend.